Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to another message from the truck. Reverend Paul here as I speak to you from the front seat of my pickup truck. Happy Saturday to all of you as we uh, prepare ourselves for the first long weekend of the summer. A different long weekend of the summer, sadly, but a long weekend of the summer nonetheless. As we uh, prepare to celebrate this um, birthday of Queen Victoria. It's great to have this opportunity to be able to connect with you and uh, just share a couple of announcements and a little bit of a brief reflection before we uh, head into tomorrow morning's worship service online on Facebook Live. A couple of announcements. First of all, thanks to everyone who came out and joined me, as well as uh, a couple of others, for our uh, trivia night on Thursday night via Zoom. Uh, it was a great opportunity to share in some fellowship and some laughter. A uh, good way to kill a Thursday night as well as to experience some new trivia that you didn't know before. So everybody now knows uh, what a jam buster might be if you didn't know what a jam buster was before. If you don't know what a jam buster is, you might want to avoid jelly filled donuts. Just saying. Um, but uh, thanks to everyone who participated in that. It was a great evening and uh, lots of fun for the 23 people that joined us. So uh, thanks to all of you for taking part in that. A couple of things just to keep in mind. Uh, there has been a request for folks to appropriately physical distance as we share some gardening around the church. Uh, the church gardens, even in the midst of all of this COVID stuff, the church gardens are growing and the weeds are getting a lead start. Um, if you're a person who enjoys gardening, who enjoys getting out and doing that kind of thing and feel you could offer a half hour or 45 minutes of your time, uh, please consider connecting with Dawn and checking in on that. I'm sure she would love to have you uh, helping out with that as we uh, make our way forward throughout this. We still need to take care of God's building as we uh, continue to prepare ourselves to gather back in it once again. So if you're able to offer some gardening, just some weeding, just some cleaning up, that kind of thing, please get in touch with Dawn, and she'll be happy to uh, let you know when there's going to be no one else there, so you can slide over um, and take care of that space, maintaining your necessary physical distance. Hopefully you're all uh, still doing well. I haven't heard from anyone that, uh, that anybody's in particular ill health, so thank you to everyone for taking care of each other and taking care of yourselves. Uh, this has been a real challenge for our community and uh, St. Augustine, our St. Augustine family is doing a great job of taking care of themselves and each other. So please continue to do so as we continue down this journey. Tomorrow's worship will be on Facebook Live. The uh, email that will have this particular video attached to it will have all of the necessary documents and so on uh, for worship tomorrow morning. I look forward to celebrating that with you as well as with uh, Reverend Charla, Reverend Robert, and Reverend Elise as we continue down this journey of distance worship. Uh, an opportunity to pray and to sing and to hear God's word. So we look forward to doing that with you again tomorrow. Tomorrow's lectionary, our gospel reading, it's kind of interesting. Tomorrow is the last Sunday. It's not actually the last Sunday. There's still one more Sunday in the Easter season before we get to Pentecost. But next Sunday, we're going to be transferring the Feast of the Ascension over onto Sunday. So this is Easter 6. This is the sixth Sunday of Easter. Uh, there would be one more, but as I said, we're going to be, we're going to be uh, recognizing Pen uh, Ascension next Sunday, which happens this coming Thursday, actually. Uh, but um, in the midst of that, it's interesting. Tomorrow's gospel speaks of, if you love me, you will follow my commandments. You will uh, do these things that I've taught you to do. And it's really interesting for me when I listen to that, because it really echoes um, sort of a bookend, if you will, of the Easter season. Because if you go back to when we heard those instructions the last time that you could keep my commandments and love one another, it was on Monday, Thursday. Um, so in the midst of that, in this entire Easter season, we've been reminded right from the very beginning, right until almost the very end, that we are to keep Jesus's commandments. And those commandments are simple. Love one another. This last week, we've seen a number of churches, some quite a few actually from here in the Windsor, Essex County area, um, who have sent a letter requesting that Premier Ford consider allowing churches to reopen. Um, Archbishop Anne Germond from, uh, from the Metropolitan, uh, pardon me, from the um, Ecclesiastical Province of Ontario, has also penned a letter. Um, and her letter indicates that, no, this isn't the time yet, as far as churches are concerned. 
A lot of churches are really desperate to get back together, and we are too. There's no question we are eager and uh, looking so forward to that time when we can get together again. But it might not be the right time yet, and we need to count on science, we need to count on uh, medics, medicine, and we need to count on all of those sciences that allow us to be confident when the right time is that we would gather together in our worship spaces again. I think when I listened to the gospel reading this morning that my commandment is that you love one another, and if you love me, you will follow my commandments. I hear in those words that respect for authority that a respect for those who suggest that maybe there's a better con better consideration yet, that maybe this isn't the right time for us to be opening yet, and that we need to listen to the doctors and the scientists and uh, even the politicians who are listening to those doctors and scientists to know that now is not quite the right time. So how do we listen and keep God's commandments? We keep God's commandments by loving everyone, loving our vulnerable in the city, loving our vulnerable members of our church community, loving those who desperately want to come back together again, but need to know it's not quite the right time yet. How do we love God? We love God by loving one another, and we love one another by caring for one another. So we will continue to follow our bishop's instructions, uh, Archbishop Anne and Bishop Todd, and we will continue to love one another by staying apart from one another. It's a challenge. It's hard. It's so very hard to stay apart. But we know changes are coming, and we know the time will be right when we will get together again, and we will celebrate together again, and we will pray together again in person. But until then, know that God hears all prayers wherever they are. This has been quite an experiment in church, and at this point, church seems to be doing really well with this experiment. So continue to be the church deployed in the world. Continue to love one another, care for one another. And continue to know that the reason we're not gathered together isn't because we don't want to, but because we are called to follow the commandment to love one another. So for this week, love one another, care for one another, be aware that when someone says we need to gather together again, respond with yes, we will, when it's right, and when caring for one another is the priority first. For right now, as my message from the truck concludes... Blessings to all of you as we continue down this journey. Looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow morning in church as we continue to gather on Facebook Live to celebrate and praise God. Have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. Blessings to you all.